That's right, lowering your blood pressure one point at a time. This is the Dr. Anonymous Show live on Blog Talk Radio. And on the line we have with us right now my good friend, Ray Sapatelli. Ray, welcome to the show there, my friend. Thank you, Michael. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. You, are, you, are you recovered from last night? Are you okay? I just want to check up on you. You all right? Can, can we not talk about that? All right, we'll not talk about that. All right, so we'll go on here. <laughs> Hey, you know what? They took us on a ride that we didn't expect. It was a wonderful time, and uh, that's why we follow sports, right, to go on the ride. It was a great ride. That's right. That's right. Uh, you, of course, uh, work for the uh, New Jersey Academy of Family Physicians. Uh, of course, I'd love to give my questions a very difficult hardball question, so here's your question here, Ray. So why should every American, why do they deserve a family physician? That's you know, that's, that's one of those really tough questions to answer, Michael, and, 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 and the, the, the answer that I've, I've best come up with is um, because there's no physician on the planet other than a family physician that is so prepared to be your partner in the medical journey, whether you're um, a healthy person who wants to stay healthy or a person who is not blessed with good health who wants to you know, navigate this thing we call a healthcare system. And, you know, you called it a system. I might not do that. But, um, but, but a, a person who's not blessed with good health who wants to, to navigate the system, if, if you don't have a family doc next to you, then you're probably being cheated. Um, and, and I don't say that because I work with and believe in family medicine. I say it because it's the truth. You know, um, family docs, more than any other docs, are, are trained to be their patient's partner in the journey through the system. And, and, and anybody who's been sick or had a family member who's sick or, or, or you know, like me, uh, blessed with relatively good health who just wants to stay that way, needs that partner in the system. Very I believe good. it. Um, so let me uh, let me take you back here a little bit, uh, maybe just to get the the people the people get to know you here a little bit. Um, so I, so growing up, um, <clears throat> what kind of experiences did you have uh, with physicians? Uh, uh, anything to kind of you know really influence you, or anything that you look back on that that assist you in communicating with your physician members or the public today from from those early days? Well, it's funny, Michael. You know, when I when I was a kid. Um, like, like many of us um, who are of a certain age, um, you know, I, I had a family doc. I just didn't call him a family doc. I just called him doc. Um, and and um, I've actually written about him a little bit, and um, I, I'd be happy to share that with you someday. But, but um, Dr. Batafrano, Leonard Batafrano, he, um, he practiced out of, his, out of his home in southwest Philadelphia. His wife was his um, nurse. They shared office management responsibilities together. Uh, when you needed a, um, you know, what us lay folks um, who forgot to go to medical school call a checkup, you went to Dr. Brad Batafrano's office, and, you know, you went with mom and dad, and all three of you got a checkup at the same time. It didn't matter if you were a kid or, a, or an adult or if you were healthy or you're sick. You know, you all, you all went at the same time. Um, when, when, when somebody in the family got sick, Dr. Batafrano packed up his bag and came to your house and, 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 and took care of your house. And, and, and it really was, um, he, he was a person that your, your family not only counted on, but, you know, uh, I guess when, when, when I, when I think about this, Michael, it, it's funny because something that just, just came to my mind is I was. I was an eight or nine year old kid, but I knew I knew Dr. Batafrano's name, and I knew his I knew his wife's name, and I knew what they meant to our family, and and there was a special relationship between us and and Dr. Batafrano, and you know if you ask me what type of physician he was, I can't tell you. I'm I'm betting that he was just a what they used to call a general practitioner, um, and 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 he took care of us. And I mean that in, in capital letters, Michael, if you know what I mean. I, sure. I mean that he took care of us in, in a way. Um, you know, my, my father was, um, was not a healthy guy. My father was, was sick most of my childhood life and passed away far too early. But, 
But um, you know, Dr. Matafrano took care of him too. It was, it was, it was a person that, that, at the risk of sounding really cliche, and I, and I recognize that in my position, I can sound like a person who is awfully Pollyanna and and um, and and sings the song that the that the you know that the company wants me to sing. That's not the case here. He was really just a person that had a relationship with our family. And going back to your first question. I think that's why I think that's why everybody really deserves everybody in this country deserves to have a relationship with a physician that looks like and feels like that somebody that you can trust that you can ask a question and get a straight answer from that when you're sick um, you know that person will tell you honestly what you're faced with and 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 how you'll deal with it together when you're healthy he'll help you stay healthy She'll help you stay healthy. Um, it's it's it was a very special relationship growing up, and I, I never forgot Dr. Batafrano. And, and and in the off chance, <laughs> in the off chance that Dr. Batafrano's wife or one of his one of his kids actually listened to the to the Dr. A show, you know there was nothing like those purple lollipops. Let me just. Tell you that. <laughs> that's uh, that's what won your heart there, the purple lollipops, huh? <laughs> 